Before we begin the chemical peel, we put on a topical numbing and we let that sit for about 15, 20 minutes so that the patient will be pretty comfortable during the peel. So now we're just gonna wipe off the topical numbing medicine here with a makeup wipe. We've got a fan going that helps with the smell and feels cool on the skin. And this one usually is not uncomfortable. TCA 35%. What's your pain level right now? A one. A one? Yeah. yeah. Just tingles. It can be uncomfortable for patients. So again, the fan, the top of the numbing, help with that. Light pass under the eyes here. Your pain now. It's up a little bit. Too. It's very tingly. Tingly. Yeah. So now what we'll do is we'll take this gauze that's been soaking in ice. And we'll place that on the skin. Feels good? Uh-huh. Heel self-neutralizes. This is simply for comfort. And it does feel good. We definitely recommend going home and just lathering your skin with Aquaphor spray. Tonight, I would just splash your face with water, no soap. Okay. And then over the next few days, it will start to heal. You don't want to pull the skin off. Just hydrate with the Aquaphor. All right, so now our chemical peel is over. You can see there's pretty confluent frosting all around, which is the endpoint that we're looking for. And the patient's comfortable now after the ice and the fan. And we just, we actually give patients this to go home with. And that's really all they should be putting on their skin for the next week or so as they start to peel. The frosting and whitening of the skin should go down in about a couple hours. We will see our patient in a week.